Coffee drinks are made by brewing hot water or much less commonly, cold water with ground coffee beans. The brewing is either done slowly by drip or filter, French press or cafetiere, percolator, etc., or done very quickly under pressure by an espresso machine, where the coffee is termed espresso. Slow brewed coffees are generally called simply coffee. All coffee drinks are based on either coffee or espresso, in different strengths. Some drinks have milk or cream added, some use steamed milk, cream, plant based milk, or foamed milk, some have flavorings or sweeteners, some have alcoholic liqueurs added, some are combinations of coffee with espresso or tea. With the invention of the gaja machine, espresso, and espresso with milk such as cappuccino and latte, spread in popularity from Italy to the UK in the 1950s, then to America, and with the rise in popularity of the Italian coffee culture in the 1980s it began to spread worldwide via coffee houses and coffee house chains the caffeine content in coffee beans may be reduced via one of several decaffeination processes to produce decaffeinated coffee sometimes known as decaf coffee which may be drunk as regular espresso or instant coffee topic <laughs> infused Topic. Drip or filtered Drip brewed, or filtered, coffee is brewed by hot water passing slowly over roasted, ground coffee beans contained in a filter. Water seeps through the ground coffee, absorbing its oils, flavors and essences, solely under gravity, then passes through the bottom of the filter. The used coffee grounds are retained in the filter with the liquid falling dripping into a collecting vessel such as a carafe or pot. Paper coffee filters were invented in Germany by Melita Bentz in 1908. To reduce waste, some coffee drinkers use fine wire mesh filters, which can be reused for years. Many countries in Latin America and Africa traditionally prepare drip coffee using a small reusable bag made of cotton or other cloth. Topic: <laughs> French press or cafetiere. A French press, also known as a press pot, coffee press, coffee plunger, cafetiere UK, or cafetiere a piston, is a coffee brewing device patented by Italian designer Attilio Calamani in 1929. A French press requires coffee of a coarser grind than does a drip brew coffee filter, as finer grounds will seep through the press filter and into the coffee. Coffee is brewed by placing the ground coffee in the empty beaker and adding hot 93 to 96 degrees Celsius, 200 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit water, in proportions of about 28 grams, 1 ounce of coffee to 450 milliliters, 15 fluid ounces of water, more or less to taste. After approximately four minutes the plunger is pressed to separate the grounds and hold them at the bottom of the beaker, then the coffee is poured. Coffee press users have different preferences for how long to wait before pressing the plunger, with some enthusiasts preferring to wait longer than four minutes. Topic. Cold brew Cold brewing, also called cold water extraction or cold pressing, is the process of steeping coffee grounds in water at cool temperatures for an extended period. Coarse ground beans are soaked in water for a prolonged period of time, for 12 to 24 hours. The water is normally kept at room temperature, but chilled water is also used. The grounds are filtered out of the water after they have been steeped using a paper coffee filter, a fine metal sieve, a French press, or felt, in the case of the toddy brewing system. The result is a coffee concentrate that is diluted with water or milk, and is served hot, over ice, or blended with ice and other ingredients such as chocolate. Slow drip cold brew, also known as Kyoto style, or as Dutch coffee in East Asia, refers to a process in which water is dripped through coffee grounds at room temperature over the course of many hours. Cold brew can be infused with nitrogen to make nitro cold brew coffee. Because the ground coffee beans in cold brewed coffee never come into contact with heated water, the process of leaching flavor from the beans produces a chemical profile different from conventional brewing methods. Coffee beans contain a number of constituent parts that are more soluble at higher temperatures, such as caffeine, oils and fatty acids. Brewing at a lower temperature results in lower acidity and lower caffeine content when brewed in equal volume. It is around 65 to 70% less acidic than hot drip coffee or espresso, per part. 
Although less caffeine is extracted with the cold brew method, a higher coffee to water ratio is often used, between two and two and a half times. This may compensate for this difference in solubility, resulting in a brew with equal, if not more, caffeine, although this is unlikely. Topic: <inaudible> Boiled. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Percolated. A coffee percolator is a type of pot used to brew coffee by continually cycling the boiling or nearly boiling brew through the grounds using gravity until the required strength is reached. There are stove top percolators and standalone units which contain a built in heating element. Percolators were popular until the 1970s, when they were widely replaced by drip coffee makers. By the mid 1970s, many companies ceased production of percolators. In the 2000s, old 1970s era percolators can occasionally still be seen at church functions and community events. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Turkish coffee. Beans for Turkish coffee are ground to a fine powder. Preparation consists of immersing the coffee grounds in water and heating until it just boils. This method produces the maximum amount of foam. If the coffee is left to boil longer, less foam remains. In the Middle East, 4 degrees of sweetness are used. The Turkish terms and approximate amounts are as follows, Shade plain, no sugar, as sekerli little sugar, half a level teaspoon of sugar, orta sekerli medium sugar, one level teaspoon, kok sekerli a lot of sugar. Before boiling, the coffee and the desired amount of sugar are stirred until all coffee sinks and the sugar is dissolved. Turkish coffee is an intangible cultural heritage of Turkey confirmed by UNESCO. Topic: <inaudible> Mocha. Mocha coffee is coffee brewed with a mocha pot, a stovetop coffee maker which produces coffee by passing hot water pressurized by steam through ground coffee at a lower pressure than an espresso maker. The mocha pot is an Italian invention, first produced by Bialetti in the early 1930s. The flavor of mocha pot coffee depends greatly on bean variety, roast level, fineness of grind, and the level of heat used. Due to the higher than atmospheric pressure involved, the mixture of water and steam reaches temperatures well above 100 degrees Celsius, causing a more efficient extraction of caffeine and flavors from the grounds, and resulting in a stronger brew than that obtained by drip brewing. Vacuum coffee A vacuum coffee maker brews coffee using two chambers where vapor pressure and vacuum produce coffee. This type of coffee maker is also known as vac pot, siphon or siphon coffee maker, and was invented by Loaf of Berlin in the 1830s. These devices have since been used for more than a century in many parts of the world and more recently have been given a new use by molecular mixologists and chefs to make hot cocktails and broths. <inaudible> Espresso Espresso is brewed by using an espresso machine to force a small amount of nearly boiling water and steam, about 86 to 95 degrees Celsius 187 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit under pressure through finely ground and compacted coffee. The espresso machine was patented in 1901 from an earlier 1884 machine, and developed in Italy. With the invention of the Gaja machine, espresso spread in popularity to the UK in the 1950s, where it was more often drunk with milk as cappuccino due to the influence of the British milk bars, then America in the 1980s, where again it was mainly drunk with milk, and then via coffeehouse chains it spread worldwide. Espresso is generally denser than coffee brewed by other methods, having a higher concentration of suspended and dissolved solids, it generally has a creamy foam on top termed crema. Espresso is the base for a number of other coffee drinks, such as latte, cappuccino, macchiato, mocha, and americano. Café americano Café americano or simply americano the name is also spelled with varying capitalization and use of diacritics, e.g. Café Americano, Café Americano, etc. is a style of coffee prepared by adding hot water to espresso, giving a similar strength to but different flavor from brewed coffee. 
The drink consists of a single or double shot of espresso combined with between 1 and 16 fluid ounces 30 to 470 milliliters of hot water. The strength of an Americano varies with the number of shots of espresso added. In the United States, Americano is used broadly to mean combining hot water and espresso in either order. Variations include Long Black and Lungo. Café Lungo The Café Lungo or a long a in French is similar to a Café Americano or a Long Black. However, instead of adding water to an espresso, all of the water is brewed. The Lungo is generally smaller than an Americano or a Long Black. Café Cubano Cuban tradition is to drink coffee strong and sweet, often mixing the sugar with the coffee beans before brewing. The traditional method of brewing coffee was a filter method using a cloth cone, this has mostly been replaced with an aluminium cafetera or coffee maker. In tourist areas some cafes will have an espresso machine, though espresso machines are expensive, so espresso is not a common drink for most Cubans. Though quality coffee is grown in Cuba, it is expensive, so most Cubans drink coffee imported from Puerto Rico, and often mixed with ground peas. The Cuban habit of brewing coffee with sugar has spread to Miami, West Palm Beach, Tampa and the Keys, in Florida, U.S., where espresso is the preferred brewing method and an espresso brewed with sugar is termed café cubano, Cuban coffee, Cuban espresso, cafecito, Cuban pull, or Cuban shot. Sometimes demerara sugar is used, and sometimes the sugar white or brown is not brewed with the coffee, but is placed in the cup as the coffee is dripped into it, then stirred into a froth. Variations on the Miami Café Cubano are with a splash of milk, cortadito, and with steamed milk, café con leche. Café crema Café crema Italian, cream coffee refers to two different coffee drinks, an old name for espresso the 1940s and 1950s, and a long espresso drink primarily served in Germany, Switzerland and Austria and northern Italy the 1980s onwards, along the Italian, Swiss and Italian, Austrian border. As a term, it generally means, espresso, while in technical discussions, referring to the long drink, it may more narrowly be referred to as Swiss café crema. Variant terms include crema café and the hyperforanism café crema. Café is French, while café and crema are Italian, thus café crema mixes French and Italian. Café Zorro A café Zorro is a double espresso or dopio, added to hot water with a one-to-one -one ratio. Dopio Dopio is a double shot, served in a demitasse cup. Espresso Romano and Espresso Romano is a shot of espresso with a slice of lemon served on the side. The lemon can be run along the rim of the cup as a way to accentuate the espresso's sweetness. Despite the name, it has no link to Italy nor Rome. Guillermo originally one or two shots of hot espresso poured over slices of lime. It can also be served on ice, sometimes with a touch of milk. Ristretto Ristretto is traditionally a short shot of espresso made with the normal amount of ground coffee but extracted with about half the amount of water. Since ristrettos are essentially the first half of a full-length extraction, the faster to extract compounds predominate in a ristretto. The opposite of a ristretto is a lungo, which is typically double the shot volume. Ristretto means limited or restricted in Italian whereas lungo means long, straight ristrettos, Shots that are traditionally drunk from a demitasse and not diluted into a larger cup containing milk or water could be described as bolder, fuller, with more body, and less bitterness, but with a higher concentration of acidity. These characteristics are usually attributed to espresso in general but are more pronounced in a ristretto. Diluted into a cup of water to make an Americano or long black or milk e.g. latte and cappuccino, ristrettos are less bitter and exhibit a more intense espresso character. Combinations Coffee with milk Coffee with espresso Regular coffee slow brewed as with a filter or cafetiere is sometimes combined with espresso to increase either the intensity of the flavor or the caffeine content. This may be called a variety of names, most commonly, red eye, shot in the dark, 
and depth charge. Though this last is a federally registered trademark of a company, Caribou Coffee, so its usage is restricted. Coffeehouse chains may have their own names, such as Turbo at Dunkin' Donuts. A double shot of espresso in the coffee may be termed a black eye, and a triple shot a dead eye. Café Tobio is a version with an equal amount of coffee to espresso. Topic. Coffee with tea Black Thai is a drink made by mixing traditional Thai iced tea, which is a spicy and sweet mixture of chilled black tea, orange blossom water, star anise, crushed tamarind, sugar and condensed milk or cream, with a double shot of espresso. Numerous houses use the term chai latte to indicate that the steamed milk of a normal café latte is being flavored with a spiced tea concentrate instead of with espresso. Add espresso shots for a dirty chai latte. Chai tea with a single shot of espresso. In addition, one to two tablespoons of instant espresso may be brewed while simultaneously steeping chai in the same container. A small amount of a dairy or non-dairy drink of choice is usually added to complete the drink. Red Thai is a drink made by mixing traditional Thai iced tea, which is a spicy and sweet mixture of chilled black tea, orange blossom water, star anise, crushed tamarind, sugar and condensed milk or cream, with a single shot of espresso. Yuanyang drink is a popular drink in Hong Kong, made of a mixture of coffee and Hong Kong-style milk tea. It was originally served at Dai Pai Dang's open space food vendors and Cha Chan Tang's cafe, but is now available in various types of restaurants. It can be served hot or cold. The name Yuanyang, which refers to Mandarin ducks, is a symbol of conjugal love in Chinese culture, as the birds usually appear in pairs and the male and female look very different. This same connotation of pair of two unlike items is used to name this drink. Topic. Coffee with alcohol A liqueur coffee, as its name suggests, is a coffee brew with a 25 ml shot of liqueur. This brew is usually served in a clear liqueur coffee glass with the coffee and cream separated for visual and taste effect. The liqueur of choice is added first with a teaspoon of sugar mixed in. The glass is then filled to within an inch of the top with filtered coffee. Slightly whipped cream may then be poured over the back of a spoon, so that it floats on top of the coffee and liqueur mixture. The sugar is required in the coffee mixture to help the cream float. Irish coffee, Irish whiskey. Café Corretto, that is an Italian drink, consists of a shot of espresso, corrected, with a shot of liquor, usually grappa, brandy or sambuca. Coffee liqueurs, many brands. Karsk, Kaffegok or Svartkop, coffee with moonshine. Rudesheimer Kaffee is an alcoholic coffee drink from Rudesheim in Germany invented in 1957 by Hans Karl Adam. It is made with Asbach Uralt brandy with coffee and sugar, and is topped with whipped cream. A Pharisaer Danish, Pharisaer, meaning a Pharisee, is an alcoholic coffee drink that is popular in the Nordfriesland district of Germany. It consists of a mug of black coffee, a double shot of rum, and a topping of whipped cream. In 1981, a court in Flensburg ruled that 2 centiliters 0.70 imp Florida Oz, 0.68 U.S. fluid ounces of rum were not sufficient for preparing a genuine Pharisaer. Barraquito is an old drink from Tenerife combining espresso, condensed sweetened milk, foamed milk, lemon, cinnamon and liqueur 43, which was carried across the Atlantic in a later modified form as the Carajillo. A carajillo is a Spanish drink combining coffee with brandy, whiskey, anisette, or rum. It is typical of Spain and according to folk etymology, its origin dates to the Spanish occupation of Cuba. The troops combined coffee with rum to give them courage coraje in Spanish, hence, corajillo, and more recently, carajillo. There are many different ways of making a carajillo, ranging from black coffee with the spirit simply poured in to heating the spirit with lemon, sugar and cinnamon and adding the coffee last. A similar Italian drink is known as café corretto. The American version of a Spanish coffee uses a heated sugar-rimmed Spanish coffee mug with three-quarters ounce of rum and one-half ounce of triple sec. 
The drink is then flamed to caramelize the sugar, with two ounces of coffee liqueur then added to put out the flame, and then topped off with three to four ounces of coffee, and whipped cream. The caffeine content of these coffee drinks, to the extent that caffeine is present in them, will not prevent intoxication from their alcohol content. Instead, the caffeine may mask the true degree of ethanol-induced loss of coordination. Topic flavored Meliamelia is coffee flavored with cocoa powder and honey. Cream is sometimes added. Café Marokinoth Marokino is made from espresso, steamed milk, and a dusting of cocoa powder, similar to the espressino. Café Miela Café Miel has a shot of espresso, steamed milk, cinnamon, and honey. The name comes from the French word for honey, meal. Mocha or café mocha or mochaccino A café mocha is a variant of a café latte. Like a latte, it is typically one-third espresso and two-thirds steamed milk, but a portion of chocolate is added, typically in the form of a chocolate syrup, although other vending systems use instant chocolate powder. Mochas can contain dark or milk chocolate. The term mochaccino is used in some regions of Europe and the Middle East to describe café latte with cocoa or chocolate. In the U.S. it usually refers to a cappuccino made with chocolate. A café borgia is a mocha with orange rind and sometimes orange flavoring added. Often served with whipped cream and topped with cinnamon. Café de a la café de a la or pot coffee is a traditional coffee-based drink prepared using earthen clay pots or jars in Mexico and other Latin American countries. It is flavored with cinnamon and pilanchillo. Consumed primarily in colder weathers, usually with the merienda meal, and accompanied with pan dulce pastries. Café Rapido y Sukio A Café Rapido y Sukio or a quick and dirty coffee, is simply three shots of espresso topped with chocolate or mocha syrup. Unlike a café mocha which has milk added or an americano which has water added, a café Rapido y Sukio or a quick and dirty coffee is espresso and chocolate only. Any variation of this drink containing more than three shots of espresso would be referred to as a fast and filthy coffee. Miscellaneous some coffee houses provide flavored syrups which customers can have added to their coffee drinks. Some non-dairy creamers have flavored versions, such as hazelnut flavor and Irish cream flavor the latter is non-alcoholic. Iced Topic. Frappé Greek frappé, café frappé Greek, frappés is a foam-covered iced coffee drink made from spray-dried instant coffee. It is very popular in Greece especially during summer, but has now spread on to other countries. There are numerous ways in which this coffee can be tailored to the individual's taste such as, all water no milk, half-half, all milk and, varying levels of sweetness. Frappé is also extremely popular in the country of Cyprus where fresh milk is used as opposed to condensed. In French, when describing a drink, the word frappé means shaken or chilled, however, in popular Greek culture, the word frappé is predominantly taken to refer to the shaking associated with the preparation of a café frappé. <laughs> Greek Fredo preparations Topic. Freddo espresso Freddo espresso is a foam-covered iced coffee made from espresso. It is found in every café and coffee shop in Greece. It is undoubtedly popular among the young people during summer, or on hot days. Because of the very hot summers in Greece, and the need to escape from the heat, people began to make cold variations of the popular coffee styles. It consists of two shots of espresso 30 to 50 milliliters, sugar, and ice 60 to 100 milliliters 1 to 2 espresso shots, ice. The espresso is mixed with the sugar in a frappira a drink mixer. The frappira mixes the coffee with the sugar, producing a foam from the oils of espresso, and lowers the temperature. The coffee is then poured over ice into its serving glass. The melting of the ice cubes dilutes the coffee and results in a desirable level of bitterness and strength. Topic. Freddo Cappuccino Freddo Cappuccino is another variation of the original Cappuccino. It is as popular as the Freddo Espresso. 
It follows the same process as the Freddo espresso, but at the end foamed and creamed milk is added in ratio 1 to 2 espresso shots, milk, and 1 to 2 espresso shots, ice. Recently the Coffee Island Coffee Shop a coffee shop franchise in Greece, established a new foam and cream trend in Freddo cappuccino. They use plant-based milk creamed in the frappira. The result is a stiffer and sweeter cream. Topic. Other Mazagranmazagran sometimes misspelled as mazagran is a cold coffee drink that originated in Algeria. It is typically served in a tall glass, and is made with coffee and ice. Sometimes sugar, rum, lemon or water is added. Sometimes a fast version is achieved by pouring a previously sweetened espresso in a cup with ice cubes and a slice of lemon. Palazzo a Palazzo is an iced coffee variant, popular in Southern California. It is two shots of espresso, chilled immediately after brewing and mixed with sweetened cream. A Palazzo is typically made using a mocha pot. Ice shot originating in Australia and similar to the Mazagran, the minimal ice shot is a single shot of fresh espresso poured into an ordinary latte glass that has been filled with ice. The hot coffee, in melting some of the ice is diluted, refreezing to a granita-like texture. The addition of a single scoop of ice cream on top is a popular variant. No milk, sugar, extra flavoring or cream are involved. Shakerato shakerato is an iced coffee made by shaking espresso and ice cubes. Topic: <laughs> Instant coffee. Instant coffee is a drink derived from brewed coffee beans. Through various manufacturing processes the coffee is dehydrated into the form of powder or granules. These can be rehydrated with hot water to provide a drink similar though not identical to conventional coffee. At least one brand of instant coffee, camp coffee, is also available in concentrated liquid form. Instant coffee brands include UCC Chalk Full O Nuts Folgers Kenko Maxwell House Makona Mr. Brown Coffee Nescafe Sanka Topic. Decaffeination of coffee A decaffeination process removes caffeine from coffee beans to lower their caffeine content. Four main methods are used to extract caffeine from coffee beans. The so-called Swiss water method, so-called from allegedly having been developed in Switzerland, where the beans are soaked in water. The ethyl acetate method, where the beans are washed in a solution of water and ethyl acetate. The carbon dioxide method, where either liquid or supercritical between liquid and gas carbon dioxide is applied to the beans at high pressure, or the dichloromethane method, where dichloromethane, a solvent, is used to dissolve the caffeine. The caffeinated coffee grew in popularity over the last half of the 20th century, mainly due to health concerns that arose regarding the overconsumption of caffeine. Decaffeinated coffee, sometimes known as decaf, may be drunk as regular brewed coffee, instant, espresso, or as a mix of regular caffeine beans and decaffeinated beans. Other Affogata An affogata Italian for drowned is a coffee-based drink or dessert, affogata style, which refers to the act of topping a drink or dessert with espresso, may also incorporate caramel sauce or chocolate sauce. When ordered, an affogata tends to be served with scoops of ice cream with a shot or two of espresso poured over the top, sometimes mixed with a liqueur. A white affogata is the same as a regular affogata, just with milk added. Bots a common and simple way of drinking coffee in Israel is known as bots, translated as mud. Finely ground Turkish-style coffee is put into a cup and boiling water poured onto it. After letting stand for a few minutes to cool and settle, the supernatant coffee is drunk, leaving the grounds behind in the cup. Café Medici A Café Medici is a dopio poured over chocolate syrup and orange peel, usually topped with whipped cream. The drink originated at Seattle's historic last exit on Brooklyn Coffeehouse. 
Café Tuba Café Tuba is the spiritual drink of Senegal, named after Sheikh Amadou Bamba Mbake known as Serene Tuba and the holy city of Tuba in Senegal. During the roasting process, the coffee beans are mixed with grains of selim, and sometimes other spices, and ground into powder after roasting. The drink is prepared using a filter, similar to plain coffee. Sugar is often added before drinking. Canned coffee Canned coffee is ubiquitous in Japan, with a large number of companies competing fiercely and offering various types for sale. Canned coffee is already brewed and ready to drink. It is available in supermarkets and convenience stores, with vast numbers of cans being sold in vending machines that offer heated cans in the autumn and winter, and cold cans in the warm months. Brands of canned coffee include these UCC Folgers Mr. Brown Coffee Coffee Milk Coffee milk is sold in two ways, prepared coffee milk and coffee syrup. It is a drink prepared or made by adding a sweetened coffee concentrate called coffee syrup to milk in a manner similar to chocolate milk. It is the official state drink of Rhode Island in the United States. Coffee milk brands include Farmers Union Iced Coffee Autocrat, LLC Double Doubly The Double Double is a uniquely Canadian term that is strongly associated with Tim Hortons. It consists of a cup of drip coffee with two creams and two sugars or double cream, double sugar. The double double coffee will taste exactly the same in any cup size, from the small 10 ounces cup to the extra large 24 ounces cup. The chain achieves flavor consistency across cup sizes by employing a pair of countertop vending machines, one dispensing cream and the other dispensing sugar, with a button for each of the four cup sizes. The name, Double Double, refers to the number of shots of each added, that is, two shots of cream and two shots of sugar. The terms, single single, and triple triple, though not as common as the double double, refer to coffee with one shot of sugar and cream and coffee with three shots of sugar and cream, respectively. The machines are calibrated regularly to ensure they dispense a perfect shot of cream or sugar to exacting specifications. The coffee is always poured over the cream and sugar, important to achieve the correct flavor. It is brewed using the pour-over brewing method and the coffee maker used is manufactured by Bun O Matich Corporation. Indian Filter Coffee South Indian Coffee, also known as Mysore Filter Coffee or Kapi South Indian phonetic rendering of coffee is a sweet milky coffee made from dark roasted coffee beans 70% to 80% and chicory 20% to 30%, especially popular in the southern states of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. The most commonly used coffee beans are coffee arabica, coffee arabica grown from Arhali village, Peaberry preferred, arabica, Malabar and robusta grown in the hills of Karnataka, Kodagu, Chikamagaluru, Kerala, Malabar region and Tamil Nadu, Nilgiris district, Yerkad and Kodakanal. Pasalo a shot or small portion of unsweetened coffee, now usually made either using an espresso machine or a mocha pot, but traditionally made using a cloth drip, usually served in cups made for the purpose, called tazitas de pochillo. It is widely drunk in Latin America, usually as an afternoon or after dinner coffee. The defining feature is the size, usually half to a quarter the size of the usual approximately 8 U.S. fluid ounces 240 milliliters coffee cups. There are a number of small-sized drinks that use tazitas de pochillo, including such sweetened varieties as café cubano and café cortado, but these are usually not called a pochillo, rather, the Spanish diminutive suffix, ito, is usually added to the name of the drink wanted in a pochillo-sized cup. For example, a pochillo-sized cortado is usually called a cortadito. See also. List of coffee dishes Coffee substitute Coffee preparation and presentation Non-dairy creamer <laughs>